Hi guys, my name is Wale Addison Way. I'm a WBFF Muscle Model Pro, and I'm here today with. Uh, my name is Ivor, um, I work here in London, um, strength coach, uh, body composition coach, um, you call it whatever you like, but I just get people in shape and help him Wally uh, with his preparation for the, for the comp, um, specifically with monitoring his body fat. Um. So the concept of today is to measure my body fat using calipers, as I've been doing for the last 12 weeks of my 16 week prep. Now I'm down to my last four weeks or four and a half weeks of my prep, I'm going to use the calipers as I've been doing for the last 12 weeks and also I'm going to use a technique called the DEXCA scan and compare the two to see which one is more accurate. But the most important thing you need to understand is calipers you can do every week, the DEXCA scan you can't due to exposure to x-ray. What you've, what you've got to understand as well is the correct percentage of your body fat isn't really that relevant but if your measurements in a specific area is going up, then you know you're doing something wrong with your diet, your training, or your sleep. But what's more important is to monitor that so you can make rapid intervention to make changes to your diet, your sleep pattern, or your training plan to make sure that you're sailing in the right direction. What's my body fat sitting at the moment using calipers? 5.2 uh, as a stand, you know, uh, we have a 102.4 limas. Limas includes bones, um, uh, organs, fluids, everything else, but obviously, I don't know, Dexter will give you some better breakdown of everything. That's it. Okay, and then we post this anyway. So, so the, most important, the most important thing is, guys, the calipers using the Charles Poliquin technique um, is giving me a reading of 5.2% body fat. So, based on that information, the next time you see me, I'm going to be using the DEXCA scan, which is going to hopefully give me uh, a more accurate measurement, but let's see what the difference is between the calipers and the DEXCA scan. Obviously, if you've been following my prep so far, you've been seeing I've been using calipers to measure my body fat. I'm here today at BodyScan UK to have the, cal the calipers prove wrong to some degree because they've been telling me that I'm 4.4% body fat and the man standing right next to me here, Phil, has told me that if I was 4.4% body fat, I'd be dead. Pretty much. So, um, desk scan is what I'm going to perform today. And I'm going to pass you over to someone who knows a little bit more about what I'm about to undertake, um, undertake which is Phil. All right. Phil, please tell him okay. what, you, what, what desk right. scan is all about. So, 4% is just like ridiculously low. Like, you can't be 4%. We all need essential fat for our bodies to run. 4%, you'd be 60 under. So I can tell you now, the lowest we've ever had on DEXA is about 10% okay. body fat, okay? Um, with calipers, you can only you know, measure the fat you can pinch, the fat on the outside. We're using an x-ray to measure all of the fat through all of your body, including intramuscular fat. So that's why we tend to give a higher result. Mm. Um, calipers, schmalipers, people use them. Yeah, I don't know why they use them, but they do. So let's get the, let's get the dirt. And also the, the key thing with measuring body composition is it's not so much the number, it's, it's, it's the reproducibility, the consistency, right? You want to know for certain that when you come back for a second scan, you've actually got a real change. Yeah. It's not just pinching harder or water you've had to drink or, you know, what you have for breakfast. So based on what I'm about to undertake today, yeah. how, when do you think I should come back? Um, my second appointment, this is my first time. Sure, yeah, we, we recommend about 12 weeks, so about three months, um, you know, not less than eight weeks because you want to be measuring meaningful changes, real measurable changes. And when you start on any kind of food plan or diet, then your body's kind of all over the place, it takes time to settle down. So we want to know that we're on a sustainable uh, you know, progress plan. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. all right, ready to do it? Ready to yeah. do it. Okay. So guys, top Here coming off. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Right, let's whoa, do this. Whoa. <laughs> Gravitational pull. <laughs> the mass, the dick's mass. <laughs> and step away. 
183 and a half. Six foot and a half. Six foot and a bit. Wow. Okay. Ruining my day already. Yeah. I thought a six one. Most men think they're taller than they are. <laughs> All right. Now, we've got to see if we're going to get you on the table. Okay. With those big shoulders. Okay. So I need you to line your back with your head at this end. Okay. And try and center yourself roughly down the middle of the table. <laughs> table? Yeah. And yeah, I think. Mm, okay. All right. I'm going to come back to you in just a second, will I? Um, the table you're lying on is moving very gently. Uh, it's going to move backwards and forwards, up and down, side to side. There's a scanning arm above you now, and that's going to make a number of passes over your body. All right. Um, all you've got to do is be still, but I want you to be relaxed. So don't okay. tense up, don't desperately try and hold on to any particular position. Just breathe normally, okay. eyes closed is fine. Imagine you're on the beach somewhere. Um, I will sit in the corner, I'll tell you when it starts and finishes, but I'm not going to speak to you during the scan, okay? Okay. All right. do anything that there's very little fat on this guy. Back here we've got the results of 20, 2700 men who've been scanned at body scan. Okay. okay. So I'm going to use these to make some comparisons okay. and kind of see where you are. Um, so it's not a random sample of the UK population, they're all body scan clients. Okay. Right? It's every body type you can imagine. Okay. I'm not sure your body type is in here, but <laughs> maybe be one or two of your body type in all that data. Um, so the key thing really is here on the front. Yeah. And this is, you know, so vis here visually we get a look at your overall body composition. Now, you can't actually see it, but orange is fat, um, <laughs> as you can see from the scale. Yeah. And we can't really see any orange. Um, if I show you someone who's um, a typical uh, body scan client, let's put these together here, um, you can see the, the difference. So this is a, a body scan client, and there's very much the orangey fat, okay? Uh, red is your, your lean mass, and you can see that your lean mass is really dense. We're, we're not red, we're actually into the purple zone. So basically what DEXA does is it's a, it's a densitometer, it measures the density of stuff. And as things get denser, they get more into the, the purple and then the blue. Yeah. So your bones are obviously the most dense part, the hardest part of you. But you can see your lean is just, you know, really, really solid muscle, really dense muscle. So, so you're carrying 13.7 kilos of fat, uh, Wale. Um, body fat percentage? Now with the head, it's 12%. With someone like you, professional, we take without the head because we can't change much of the, the content of the head. So with the head, you're 12% body fat. You're not even on the table, right? You're at the lowest bottom 1%, the best 1%. Even without the head, 11.3, once again, our lowest figure is 12.1. So you're in the top 1% for body fat percentage. And when it comes to muscle, you're off the damn chart. Come back roundly, get the shot. So there you have it guys. I'm off the Richter scale, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but again guys, I just wanna say, I love what I do. I do it with a smile. And it's all about putting a love into what you do. The results will come and the success will follow. Bless you all, thank you.